I'm Ivan Zoot, you know me as Clipper Guy for Jatai Academy, and here we are with top five tips, education, and information on all the great things you need to know to be successful as a barber and as a stylist in the professional beauty industry today. Somebody asked the question, hey, what do you know about really doing well on Instagram. You got any tips you can offer, any tricks you can offer? And you know, I'm not a superstar Instagram guru, but I'm on there. I'm interacting with you guys every day. I've done a few things wrong. I've done a few things right. I've built a little community and you know, I love my fans and followers and I love my community and they're good to me and I'm good to them and we interact well. So I do have top five tips for things you can do for better Instagram posting. Number one on the list, is why. Before you even start sharing, and it's not just Instagram, on any social media channel, ask yourself the question, why am I here? Are you here to build a community, to engage in support, and to provide information? Nothing wrong with that. Are you here to sell something? Are you here to ask people for money in exchange for something you do or something you offer? Nothing wrong with that. Are you here just to interact socially with friends and followers out there? You're not really trying to teach anybody anything and you're not really trying to sell anything. You just want to be there to interact. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Those are three very credible goals and you've probably got three more of your own and the next guy's got another three possible goals. The important point of point number one is understand your reason why before you start because how you behave on social media will change based on your goal. Now, keep in mind, you can have more than one goal and the goal can be different on different days or different times, but you don't want to create a social media feed that is who knows what's next. Everything's a surprise. It's just a, a, a big old bucket of all kinds of stuff. You want to be predictable, and you want to be consistent. And that's point number two. Point number two is consistency. And consistency comes with the footnote of quality over quantity. It's not about posting every 15 minutes. It's about posting on a regular basis. If you're a once a day poster, be a once a day poster. If you're a three times a day poster, that's great. If you're going to be an every 15 minute poster, that's okay. But no, I stopped following you because it's too much and I'm not interested. And if you're going to post every 15 minutes and you're going to be all over the map, you're going to ask me to buy something. You're going to share a little video on how to do something. Then you're going to show me a cat video. Then you're going to show me a picture of a sunset. And then you're going to copy some inspirational quote from mother Teresa. You know what? It's a hodgepodge. I'm confused. I don't even know what you want and I'm going to stop paying attention. So be consistent and understand less is more. If your posts are better, I'm more likely to be engaged with you. Towards engagement, tagging is important. I got this tip from somebody I consider to be a great social media guru. So tip number three is tagging. And what they said was tag five tags five times. So here's the example. Let's say we're talking about cars. And let's say we're talking about Ford Mustangs. I like Ford Mustangs. I'll talk about Mustangs. If you're talking about Ford Mustangs, you would have five tags related to cars, maybe five tags related to Ford or Mustang, maybe five tags related to classic rock and roll. Cause maybe classic rock and roll is something that other people that also like classic Mustangs also like. Maybe you'd have five tags related to, oh, I don't know, tools or things like that if you're working on the cars. Um, but the idea is find five subjects related to your subject and then find five tags related to each one of those subjects, total of 25 tags. It's probably enough tagging. This will allow people who are searching to find you. If your goal is to build your followers, people need to find you. If your goal is to talk to the followers you already have, Tagging is not nearly as important because they're already within your community. So tagging is important. Another tip I got from another social media guru is based on some information that comes from Facebook advertising. And that is the number one thing that people click on is pictures of puppies. Now that's great, but we're not doing dog grooming. We're dealing with people. I got good news for you. There's one thing that's tagged on more than pictures of puppies. 
pictures of people's faces. If you're looking for posts that will attract people's connection, that people will click on, that people will look at, that people will share, that people will comment on, if the goal is shares and comments and likes and looks, people's faces. People connect with people or puppies, but in our business, go with the people. Lastly on the list, tagging. Not tagging with hashtags, but tagging with other people and other brands, you know, not the hashtag tag, but the at sign tag. So for instance, on my Ivan Zoot page, I might do a post about feather razors and I might tag Jatai. Hashtag Jatai, you know what it looks like. You've seen me do it. And here's what I'm going to tell you. Unless you're trying to steer people to Jatai, talk about Jatai, promote Jatai, don't tag Jatai. They're my followers on my page and my community. They're following me. As soon as I throw a hashtag, not a hashtag, but as soon as I throw a tag up there for Jatai, you're going to see it. You're going to go, oh, Jatai, you're going to click on it. I've lost you. You're off my page. So if the goal is to keep you within my community, don't tag 15 other brands. Don't tag a bunch of other barbers. Don't tag a bunch of other people. Just hashtag the subject matter, but avoid tagging other accounts because you're, it's like putting a web link up. You're asking people to click away. Now, I have a business relationship with Jatai, and when I'm promoting Jatai, I am trying to help Jatai build and grow their business. It's no secret. I'm trying to help you build and grow your business, but part of that is helping Jatai build and grow their business. So I will use Jatai's name in my post because I want you to go there. But if I'm posting something for my own personal use, I don't want you leaving my page. So use the tagging of other people in your posts. Very, 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 very limited basis when you do that. I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy. These are five great tips on things you can do to post better on Instagram or any of your other social media channels. Thanks for watching and have a great day.